of breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. This is coming in from Kuwait. At least 41 people have been killed in a fire at a building in the southern Mangaf district of Kuwait, ladies and gentlemen. The blaze broke out today morning in a kitchen on the lower floor and quickly spread through the building, trapping many inside Indian workers. Several Indian workers are feared dead in this place. We also have a reaction from External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar, who has tweeted, deeply shocked by the news of the fire incident in Kuwait City. There are reportedly over 40 deaths and over 50 have been hospitalized. Our ambassador has gone to the camp. We are away waiting for the information. Deepest condolences to the families of those who tragically lost their lives. Wish early and full recovery to those who have been injured. Our embassy will render the fullest assistance to all concerned in this regard. That is the reaction coming in from S.J. Shankar. Uh, that tweet on your screen, ladies and gentlemen. I'm also joined by my colleague Siddharth on the phone line to get the latest details from the ground. Siddharth, 41 people reportedly dead. Many of them uh, feared to be Indians. Well, that's right, uh, Ayushman. At least 42 killed after a fire broke out in a building housing workers in Kuwait's Mangaf uh, city. The incident occurred at around 6 a.m. local time. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, the uh, the ambassador has uh, gone to the camp. Uh, the Indian ambassador to Kuwait has gone to the camp and team has been informed by EAMS Jay Shankar uh, uh, in a post that he did a short while back on uh, on X. In fact, the Indian Embassy in Kuwait has issued a helpline number also, and uh, we can flash that on our screen uh, for our viewers. And said the uh, and said the fire incident involved some Indian workers, and the embassy uh, is uh, rendering all possible assistance. So, in fact, the helpline numbers have also been issued because uh, there are some Indian workers also those who could be uh, 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 trapped in this uh, uh, fire incident. Right now, we don't have any more information on, on the number of Indians uh, and how many have been admitted to the hospital. Uh, but uh, the embassy is keeping a close eyes on the uh, on this entire uh, incident. In fact, the helpline numbers have been issued. The ambassador, Indian ambassador to Kuwait, has gone to Mangab City. He is on, uh, on the site to render assistance. Uh, and in fact, uh, you know, the EM Jay Shankar has also uh, 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 issued a statement on social media platform X. So the building in which the fire occurred was used to house workers, and there was a large numbers of workers there. Dozens were rescued, but uh, but unfortunately, uh, you know, this is what the media there is reporting. There were many deaths uh, as a result of inhaling smoke. Uh, from the fire. This is what uh, the media is reporting uh, uh, at this point in time. But still, we have very less information as far as uh, the deaths are concerned. But uh, uh, what the media is reporting right now is that 41 people have been uh, killed and uh, and more than 50 have been admitted uh, to the hospital. They are seriously injured. Back Absolutely. Back. We've also got a tweet from the uh the Indian ambassador in Kuwait who has tweeted uh, that he has visited the Al Adan hospital where over 30 Indian workers have been injured in today's fire incident and they have been admitted at the Al Adan hospital. Uh, the ambassador met a number of patients and assured them full assistance from the embassy. Almost all are reported to be stable by the hospital authority. So 30 Indian workers are hospitalized at the Al Adan hospital in Kuwait in the wake of this blaze, ladies and gentlemen. We will continue to track all the developments coming in. For now, a quick break. More news and updates on the other side. Thank you for watching CNBC TV 18. For all the latest news and updates, do follow us on our social media platforms.